State officials vow they'll get to the bottom of how someone is stealing money low-income families rely on to eat. News 4's Jacqueline Lambert has been working to get to the bottom of this scandal that could ruin the coming holidays for some. Susan Hammond is one of a growing number of victims. Oh, I was livid. And then I started crying. Someone stole money from her EBT card, something that happened to countless people. SNAP, or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, is what she and others rely on to feed their families. But me being 58 years old, that's all I get. I get no help from our government on anything with my health. She is not the only victim of this scam. There are countless others, including two we spoke with last week. Since September, actually, Alabama has seen a significant increase in the number of thefts of benefits by criminals using various means across the state. What makes this most concerning is the Alabama Department of Human Resources has no idea how this is happening. But what they do know is that some of the fraud is caused by scammers who use skimmers, a device that steals the cardholder's information. But also, these criminals ha are using stolen uh, personal identifying information, so social security numbers um, and dates of birth, and they are going into systems where they can actually obtain the card numbers. So it's not necessarily what our clients are doing that's causing uh, or allowing the fraud to happen. It's just very, very smart criminals. Susan knows it's hard to stop fraud, but the bottom line is her Thanksgiving meal is in jeopardy. Do something, you know, at least these people can have a Thanksgiving dinner. And that's not including, you know, these people that depend on that to feed their children. I mean, it's just heart-wrenching. I mean, I know we're low-income, poor people, but we still matter. Alabama DHR assures that it is working around the clock to replace those benefits thanks to a waiver for reimbursement from the USDA. In the meantime, the State Department is introducing security measures to prevent fraud incidents. Alabama DHR actually began working on a plan for new security features involving our EBT cards. Earlier this year, we developed that plan in June and submitted it to the federal government. They approved the plan last month in October, months, and that would include having new chipped cards and then some other background features, uh, folks being able to turn their cards off themselves and uh, just some other features to kind of stop some of this fraud. And we're trying to get that in place as soon as possible. In Houston County, Jacqueline Lambert, your hometown news leader. DHR says all victims of the scam will receive their full funding as soon as practical to replace those funds.